1510 KFNN, it's business for breakfast. I'm Ken Morgan along with CFP Julie Doherty. Hey, Ken. Good morning, everybody. Dow down 25 points, S&P down 3, NASDAQ down 4. I'm sure you've seen this uh, gentleman's business all around the place. Uh, Sean Dowdell is here, owner of Club Tattoo. Sean, good morning to you. Hey, how you doing? Thanks so much for joining us. We have uh, just a few minutes here, but I, I have a feeling I'd like to spend a lot of time talking about what is a very fascinating subject, uh, tattoos. Uh, how long have tattoos been around in history? Have they been here for hundreds of years or whatever? Uh, 10, t- 10 to ten to 40,000 years wow. ago. Uh, wow. Cavemen were, were putting very primitive tattoos on their bodies. What, I'm sure you've been in this business for a long time. You've analyzed this whole situation. What is the motivation that people generally have for getting a tattoo? Uh, it's usually telling about a specific point time uh, place emotion in their life. It's a, it's a way to tell a story without having to tell a story or a way of remembering something that happened important in their life most of the time. How many tattoos do you have? Uh, I just tell everyone I have one. It kind of goes, starts at my uh, wrist <laughs> and goes all the way down my back. One gigantic tattoo. Yeah. With the economy being what it is, does that have any effect uh, negative or positively on your business? Yeah, yeah. Um, a lot of people see, uh, seem to think that it hasn't affected the tattoo business, but that's not true. It's down about 30%, 40% overall the last two years. Um, it's definitely significantly impacted our business. Uh, with that being said, we're still doing okay and we're still uh, profitable. How do you charge for your ta- by the size of the tattoo, the intricacy of it, or what? Uh, both, actually. Uh, what we do is we do a per-piece charge uh, based on the size and the amount of time that it's going to take the artist to complete the tattoo. Uh, we also do an hourly charge. If the tattoo is going to take more than three hours, we'll charge per hour. Ah, I see. Two okay. different ways that we look at it. Now, I understand that you are one of those people who would like some good, strong regulation in your industry. Yeah, we've been pushing for that for quite a few years. It seems to fall on deaf ears. What, what, what have you found to be the problem, first of all, in getting uh, more regulation, and, and what's wrong with the industry where you need regulation right now? Uh, there, there hasn't been uh, any instance that there's been something specifically wrong other than the fact that we should all have a uniform set of, of uh, standards that we have to abide by, similar to OSHA rules, uh, something of that nature put in place in Arizona. Most of the other states have it. We just don't. The problems I've come across, I uh, actually worked with a state senator, state representative uh, about a year and a half ago trying to put together a uh, – a uniform set of, of laws for the tattoo industry that makes sense and uh, that were self-funded. We spent almost a year working with them, and then uh, it didn't didn't go well. You should have told them it was something to do with illegal immigration. They would have jumped right on it. Well, you know, it, it, it's funny that you, that you say that. They did jump on it. They contacted us and asked us to, to do it. I contacted a, a ton of the tattoo shops here. We all got together. We wrote up what was a very... Um, intelligent set of laws, uh, 54 pages worth, and brought it back, and the senator and the representative uh, liked it. They introduced it to the House. They called me up and asked me to speak. I came down to the uh, the House floor, and uh, they had rewritten everything we wrote into <laughs> six pages of funding, and nothing of what we had put as far as the health code regulations were a part of it. So unfortunately, I had to stand in front of the, uh, the committee and tell them to vote it down because they they completely changed it without talking to us. You must have not made enough contributions to the right people. Yeah, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> and someone else apparently did. Yeah, you know, apparently I pay my taxes. That's not good enough. Oh, right? no, yeah. not at all. If uh, you're an artist and you're painting something and you make a mistake, you can always just start all over again. Of course, if you're having a tattoo, you don't want a mistake. You want somebody who is very good at what they do. Where do people train for this kind of thing? In our industry, there's something called an apprenticeship setup. Um, Basically, if you were an aspiring artist, you would go to a shop, a reputable shop, and get an apprenticeship program where you basically learn and work for free for a year under the artist that's teaching you about the um, aseptic techniques and the health codes and basically what not to do and uh, what to do over the uh, course of a year. And then you would start working on clients. My shops, however, I've been in business for 16 years. I, we don't take uh, tattoo apprentices anymore. The industry is a little too saturated. A little too many tattoo artists out there that don't know what they're doing. I just don't want to contribute to that anymore. How many shops do you have right now, Sean? I have five. Uh, four here in Arizona. I have one in my flagship stores in Planet Hollywood in Las Vegas. 
and I'm opening up a sixth one up there this year as well. Fantastic. Well, uh, congratulations on the great job that you've done, and uh, there's a lot more I'd like to ask you, but we don't have time this morning. I do appreciate your joining us on the show today. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Sean Dowdell, owner of Club Tattoo.